Hey, we're gonna do something a little bit different today. We're gonna test a product that isn't a firearm or a firearm accessory. Uh, so it's a little different from dynamic target solutions. Before we get into that, a quick word from our partners, Blackout Coffee. They make small batch coffee in America out of Florida. It's delivered to your door the way you want it. Use code BUDDYTECH at checkout. Also use our hyperlink below. That just kind of ensures that we get credit if you do buy through them for 10% off your order and the chance to help support us. Also Axle Hearing Protection with the GS Extreme Pros. They're earbuds, they're comfortable. They have 12 hours of battery life, Bluetooth connectivity, up to eight times hearing enhancement and 29 decibels of hearing protection. Use the link below to get a discount on your Yours, go in with a group to get an even bigger discount and help support us. Okay, with that out of the way, Dynamic Target Solutions sent us this. It was packed up a little neater when we first got it, but it's got XLR cables, feet, motors. It fits nicely within this Pelican case and weighs under 70 pounds altogether. It doesn't take too long to set up. It runs on battery, so you can go out for a day of shooting, set up your targets, have a little more than just some you know static target options. They pivot, they swivel, they dance. So my favorite thing about this system is how modular it is and how easy it is to convert between two different kinds of targets. So with the base without feet and the motor, there's two connection points. So you can have it laid a swivel or to do a pop-up target, or as I like to call it, a stand-up target because it can do a stand-up routine, which I know a few things about. <laughs> so I walks into this gun store and I says, uh, I'm looking for a gun for my wife. And he goes, okay, for your wife, I got the perfect thing reaches under the counter, pulls out a pristine 1911. It's got engravings on the side. And he goes, this is, this is for your wife. And he goes, wow, I can see why you'd recommend it for a wife. And he goes, no, you can't. And he goes, okay, enlighten me. And he says, the firing pin's been removed. Okay, so anyways, you can connect these just like this. 3D printer leg here a piece of wood, and then a connector. So when you get done, it'll look like this. This is the pop-up configuration. The motor is mounted sideways. When it's activated, it'll pop up here. XLR cable for power here. It comes with four of these. They can be made either pop-up or swivel, so you can have four of each or otherwise. Also, because it's modular, you can buy additional units and additional control units and trick it out as much as you want. All right, so we're gonna set it up the rest of the way and then we'll show you it in action. So we're all set up. Oh, you know what I realized? This is still running. <laughs> Shit. So we're all set up. Show you a quick example of how it works. So we have XLR cables, which are you know typically used in like the music or presentation industry, which makes them easy to replace if you booger one up or you lose one or you want to get more extension. So we have four running to this control unit. It's worth noting that the housings and the control unit are 3D printed. Uh, they're very durable and they're lightweight. So, you know, you would think if it was metal, oh, it'll probably last longer, but then you have a possibility of corrosion and then it's gonna drive the price up. So we're gonna flip this to on and then we have multiple functions for each target. We're gonna go ahead and put it on random for now because that's my favorite one. And then we're gonna let it rip. So go ahead and look over here. I'm gonna hit go and you'll see about a half second delay and then it'll start its routine. And then those start to pop up. So while that's happening, I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple shots. Ears on everybody? All right. So 
I think you get the point. Very easy to program. If you have a third person or, you know, you have a cameraman and a third person, but if it's just you, you can set it up, put it on random and still enjoy yourself. If you want to do right. team drills, you can have someone stand by, switch it between different modes, various rotations, different timing. There's a lot of options for programming. So I think it's pretty sweet. Applications would be if you have some land and you like to go shoot out, you don't like going to a range, which that's kind of how we feel too, I think. Um, you can set these up on a day. It takes, what do you think it took us? About an hour to set up? Less than that? You, ever take you know, we were doing some different things. Okay, that's all I got. Set it up, tear it down, take it with you wherever you want. If you're an instructor, it's also a good option because you can add more variety than just stagnant targets. Dynamic Target Solutions kit start as low as $625, which includes one lifter, six batteries, a controller, chargers, and one XLR cable. It does not include the base, but this is probably the easiest thing to source on your own. It's worth noting that these kits can be upgraded a la carte at the buyer's choice, all the way up to what we have, which is the Everything Kit. The Everything Kit includes four lifters, five 50-foot XLR cables, four lightweight portable bases, four standard bases, five wood connectors, which double the length of the 10 23-inch wood pieces included, 12 18 650 batteries, one controller, and one hard case with custom cut foam. This kit is currently listed for $2,700 on their website and includes a six month warranty, but it's worth noting that Dynamic Target Solutions does not recommend leaving the kits out overnight because they are not sealed against weather. Also worth noting, Dynamic Target Solutions is currently in the process of updating the random mode on their controller to a new improved one, and they're gonna be sending out a new controller to us to test it, so stay tuned for our future impressions on that. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. Check us out on Subscribestar, Patreon, check out our affiliate links, and let us know in the comments below, do you think this is a target system that you would utilize? Is the price right? And what are some other options out there that you recommend? Thanks for watching, stay safe out there.